but it's because you're actually judging against different outcomes. Making sure that the things that they expect of you and the things that you expect of you are the same. And then they should be supporting you because they want those things from you too. And then that way you can work in synergy towards what you're trying to accomplish together. Uh, rather than feeling there's always this give take because like really really super honestly like Layla and I don't really have a give take relationship we both just like want the same thing I never want her to think I could have done more or I could have worked harder or I left anything on the field and so I think that's been a source of mutual respect is that we're both harder on ourselves than the other person is on us and so we're always out outdoing the other person's expectations because we're both assessing on the same metrics if you want to be the ultimate husband Find a woman who loves all the things that you currently do. Way less work than trying to change everything about who you are to match what they want from you. The amount of times I was in relationships where the things that they wanted me to do, I was like, this isn't me. Like, I can expend effort to do this, but I don't want to on a forever basis because I will resent you. But the thing is that there's another guy who would love to do that and probably does it on his own and they should marry him. And so I think just being like really, really brutally honest about what do you really want out of me? And what do you expect? Like what's a 10 out of 10 husband look like to you? And if it matches what I already do or what I'm planning to do, then it makes both of our lives a lot easier because I'm gonna work my ass off on what I already wanna do and it will just so happen to fulfill all of your desires. But I think way too many people spend time in this like compromise zone where neither person gets what they want. Even if both of you compromise, you're not enjoying the thing that you're compromising on. They're getting a worse version of what they ideally want. And you're just walking out this like kind of middle path when I think both people could be better served by being brutally honest up front and being okay with somebody being an amazing person, just not their amazing person. You know, one of the biggest things that I hate about romance advice and relationship advice in general in the whole space, which is why I try not to touch it, is that there is no objective measure for a relationship billionaire. So like somebody else, can be married or in a relationship and I make a piece of content and they're like, well, you're fucking wrong because of X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, the thing is, is that there's no way that anyone externally can see how healthy a relationship is internally. And so that's what I think makes it so hard about the space because the only success metric we have is not divorced. The vast majority of marriages that I see, I would not want at all.